Hey guys, so spring is just about here. If you want to see how I create this look, then keep on watching. Alright, so I have already moisturized and primed my face. And now for the spring, I want to use a more dewy finish kind of foundation. So the foundation I'm going to be using today is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin. And I'm going to be using my Sigma Flat Kabuki FAD brush. Just pouring a little onto my hand. And I'm just going to be dipping that in and start working it into the center of my face and then feathering it outwards. Okay, now that I've just evened out my complexion with my foundation, I'm going to cover up any blemishes with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Now I'm going to be using my Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline just to cover up my dark circles. Okay, now I just want to highlight just the littlest bit, so I'm going to be using this light NYX HD concealer. And I'm just going to be placing the smallest bit on the center of my face. And I'm going to be going back in with my Kabuki brush and just lightly blending that in. I'm just going to go ahead and set my under eyes and any blemishes I covered with concealer. And I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Clean Powder for normal skin. Now I'm going to be using my L'Oreal True Match Compact Makeup in Soft Sable. I'm just going to be working that into an angled kabuki brush and just start sculpting out the edges of my face. Okay, now I'm going to be going back in with my kabuki brush and just blending that out a little. Now that I'm done with contouring and highlighting and everything, I'm just going to go ahead and set my makeup with a makeup setting spray, and this is by NYX. And this is going to make the skin look a lot more natural than powdered and matte. Okay, now I'm going to redefine my eyebrows, and I'm using the Gimme Brow by Benefit, and this is perfect natural looking eyebrows. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyes and I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm just working that all over the eye area and also a little bit on the bottom lash line. And this is the 8-in-1 Neutral Tones Avon Palette. So I'm going to start off by just using my finger because that's the best way to deposit the most product. And I'm just going to take that third shade right here, just the shimmery neutral kind of shade. And I'm just going to pack that all over the eyelid. Okay, now I'm just going to be taking this fat blending brush and these two transition colors right here, they're just matte brown colors, and I'm going to mix them together and just blend that right into my crease and a little bit above. Okay, now I'm going to be taking the YDK looking color and taking that on the flat shader brush and I'm just going to work that the outside half of my lid. Okay, now I'm going to take this nice pencil brush and I'm going to take the darkest color right here which is just a dark brown, sorry I'm pointing to the wrong one, and I'm just going to work that right into the tip and place that just into the outer V of my eye which is just following upwards on the lash line and joining it into the crease so if you can see I'm just making this side V. Okay, now that it looks kind of harsh and choppy, I'm going to just take that blending brush again and I'm going to work that brown color right into the tip and I'm going to first place it right there and then I'm kind of going to open my eyes so my brush is just stuck in the crease. I'm just going to wiggle it around and this is just going to keep the color in place but still be blending it. And I'm just going to look down and I'm going to be blending this to my left. So towards the inner corner, but not taking it more than a third into the eye. Okay, now I'm going to be taking this flat, small brush, and I'm going to pick up the lightest shade right here, and just place that onto my brow bone to really make that arch look dramatic. And I'm placing it right into the inner corner just to brighten things up. And if anything looks too harsh, you can just go in with a clean, fluffy brush and just blend that brown right into the highlight. 
Now I'm just going to take this really small angled brush and I'm going to pick up that brown shade again and I'm going to work that into the outside of my bottom lash line. And everything she does is right. And as you can see, I'm not adding a ton of product. I'm just putting just the slightest bit just to add a little bit of depth. Now for the inner part, I'm going to pick up that light shade that I used all over the lid. Now this is totally optional, but I really want my look to be really sparkly and really awake and bright. So I'm going to be taking my NYX Ultra Pearl Loose Pigment and I'm just going to pick up a little tiny bit on the tip of my small brush. I'm just patting off the excess on the top of my hand. And I'm working that right into this inner tear duct. And all other people and I don't know why. And I'm also going to be placing that right on top of that shimmery nude color that we put on the inner portion of our bottom lash line. Okay, now I'm going to be going back in with that big fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that really light pigment into the nude color so there's no harsh lines. And also blending the two bottom shades together. Okay, now I'm just going to be taking this concealer brush and this has just a little bit of leftover concealer on it and I'm going to take it on the bottom lash line and just drag it upwards towards the eyebrow just to clean up that edge right there and, if there, and I'm going to blend out that concealer a little bit. Okay, now I'm just going in with my Salon Perfect Quad and I'm taking that black shade right there onto a angled liner brush and I'm just going to tight line. So I'm literally just looking down and pushing this right between the lashes. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. Then I'm going to go in with my new favorite mascara, which, which is the Lash Stiletto by Maybelline. And this is the waterproof formula. And while I'm letting that dry, I'm going to work on my bottom lashes. And I'm going to be using the Maybelline big eyes, the falsies, and I'm going to use the waterproof bottom lash side. Okay, so again, we want to keep this look really dewy, so instead of using a powder blush, I'm going to use this NYX stick blush, and this is in the color Pink Lotus. So I'm just going to twist a little bit, and I'm going to just dab three dots really lightly on my cheeks. And I'm going to take my MAC 130 stippling brush and just buff that in with circular motions. And I'm buffing that onto the apple on my cheek and up onto my cheekbone. Now, these products are going to be really long lasting on the skin because they, because they aren't powders, they're not just going to dust off. These creams will stay a little bit longer, especially because of the makeup setting spray. So I don't want a lip gloss that's just going to come off. So I'm actually going to use this product right here, and this is the L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Lip Color. So what you do is you just push this up and it locks. So I'm just going to apply this on my lips. And it says to apply a thin layer. Okay, now I'm just going to snap it back and I'm going to wait for two minutes for this to dry. So now that it's dry, it is kissable, nothing will come off, and to keep your lips moisturized because it does feel, well, dry, I'm going to use the second part of it and it just comes out like a lipstick but it is clear. And this is like extremely moisturizing. And then again, kiss proof, nothing came off on my hand. Alright guys, well I hope you liked this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.